Yo, what's up, family? Welcome back to another video. Hold up, place this down. Okay. All right, so before we start this video, I just want to thank you all for tuning in and also thank you guys for supporting me as well. Uh, I didn't expect my last video to do as well as it did because I haven't posted in a week and a half, but y'all absolutely blew my mind like always. Um, I've been having, you know, this thought sitting in my head, wanted to talk to you guys about and it's, um, you know, today you have the opportunity to change your life. In all reality, bro, um, you know, in this garage over there, y'all can't really see it, but that's where it all started for me. Um, you know, that's where I made up my mind to really pursue this to another level. You know, we all start somewhere and yeah, you know, it's scary not being able to see the future because you really don't know what the future holds. And you know, you can't really change the past because the past already happened. So it's a matter of what you do with your time right now that truly matters. And yeah, you know, you guys are watching this video and you know, I hope y'all gained something from it. I wanna help you guys achieve, you know, the things that you want in life that you're a little bit afraid to pursue. Fear should be your drive of motivation. You know, I, I was tired of living such a uh, unfulfilling life and a life that had no meaning to it. And, you know, one day I just got up out of off my ass and just started chasing this shit, bro. And like, you know, y'all have seen my growth. Um, you know, it's it's been very apparent that, you know, what I've been doing has been working. And no, the, all the things that I've learned, I wanna share with you guys. And, you know, you always have to take that first step. And in the beginning, it's hard because you gotta get the snowball rolling. But once you get that snowball rolling and you just keep going, it gets better, bro, because you get a better knowledge of how to do this or not even just this in general. I'm not just talking about fitness, lifting, influencing. I'm talking about the things that you actually wanna do in life, the things that you wanna pursue. It could be you know, being a doctor or being an engineer. It could be literally anything. But it's a matter of getting up off your ass and actually doing it. So, you know, I'm, I'm gonna tell you this, you, you guys might not listen to me, but I'd honestly want y'all to pause this video and at least do something positive or something productive today um, that is a step towards your goal. And then once you do that, come back, watch this video and have a good time, entertain yourself, you know, sit down, relax, chill, all that stuff. But I've just been having that sitting in my mind and you know, I want all of you guys to succeed. It's one thing to say you're gonna do it and it's another thing to actually do it. You know, I just wanted to share it with y'all that you have the opportunity to change your life and it's all in your hands. You know, you can sit down and think about that, you know, dream life that you wanna live, but thinking about it is not actually doing it. It's a matter of stepping towards your goal. And yeah, you know, it's tough because you'll sit down and you can question me as well and be like, Jeremy, you know, I don't know what first step to take. I mean, bro, the answer is out there. You know what I'm saying? Like the people that you see living those lives that you dream of living, they all started in the same place. Maybe not some of them, but a lot of them started in the same place, you know? And it's up to you, bro, to find those answers and actually do something crazy with your life. Something, you know, a life worth living. That's all I wanted to say. Uh, uh, that's probably gonna be my message of this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. You know, this next clip, I suggest turning down your volume because I'm fucking screaming. But uh, this video is gonna be pretty sick. Um, I'm about to go back upstairs and edit it. So I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in and I hope you guys enjoy. Peace. Another thing I wanted to say, it's the motherfuckers who always make excuses that don't do shit with their lives. Don't be that guy. Enjoy. <laughs> right. I almost broke the steering wheel. I Dude, almost like, like damn near like <laughs> coughed up a fucking lung. <laughs> good morning, good evening, and good night to all you beautiful Bang. Watching this video right now. Me and Sam are at the gym trying to look for some. I texted my homies. I told a couple of them that I'm uh, working out at Beast Mode tonight. What up, big dog? 
How's it going? Chilling, bro. Chilling. Dude, this bicep. motherfucker is tall as shit. He's like a giant, but he's my little friendly giant. <laughs> Collins is there. Yeah. Hey. Up, How you doing? I'm proud. Hey, this motherfucker. Hey, hey. let me see so, earrings. Yep. Damn. Oh, God, Damn. Hey, oh, hide your bitch. Dude, my homie Max, y'all met him before. He has this like crazy ass Hellcat. <laughs> Bro, that made me hard as fuck. What up, big dog? How you doing? I ran out of my favorite flavor, which is a ring pop, and I ended up bringing the Smarties. I brought the Smarties so the homies could try it as well. Nah, bro, I'm not gonna lie, dude. The Smarties are actually fire. I don't even know what Smarties like actually taste like, but it is. You fuck with it? You never smoked Smarties growing up. Smoked? You never smoked Smarties, bro? Nah, I never did that shit. Dude, honestly, yeah. Did you get banned? Banned? I would say this is better than ring pop. Yeah. Alright, after I mix it up, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Controversial. I like it though. Smarties tastes good as fuck. Fucking store buying meat right now, bro. Where the hell? Cole, bro. Why are you? <laughs> We're just gonna wait on Cole. He's buying meat at the store right now, and it's it's 9:45. I guess duty calls for a man. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> what hey, what is like, that, bro? Y'all ain't voting like me, dog. Nah, nah. Let me put the. This oh, really put the, about it. Let me put the vlog on, dead ass. Look, I I don't know, like, if y'all got HEBs, wherever the fuck y'all are watching this, but literally, you can probably get this shit anywhere. Um, beef chucks. It's like boneless rib meat. It is so fucking cheap. This shit is the same shit as steak. Tastes the exact same. Throw that shit on a pan with some butter. It's literally steak for cheap. Bro, From skater to fucking bodybuilding, <laughs> IFBB pro, Cole Hilliard. I have BB, bro. I'm coming for James English, bro. <laughs> bro really brought meat to the gym, bro. That's crazy. Second. The one, the only legend. Big Al. Hey, no boss. This is his gym, by the way. Beast Mode Fitness. Come check it out. Yo, also, comment down below. Um, I'm planning on doing a video with Alan, I think, next week. And I think that shit's going to be a banger. So, comment down below if y'all want that hoe as well. Okay, one sip, everybody knows the rules. Shout out Barstool. That's a guess? No. Nah, low key it it's is. Better, right? Low key, I think it's better. Ah, I don't know. Yo, they're it's saying ring pop or they're saying Smarties is better than ring pop. I don't know. It's pretty close. I feel like that's a bold statement. Dude, I'm not gonna honestly, lie. like like no like dick slurping, like they're both pins. Like ten out of ten. Code germ.
work out with the homies. Uh, a lot of these homies are gonna go back to college, so this is like a little farewell workout before you know I get to see them in a couple months. So I had a good time. Yo, what's up? Uh, so this part of the video, I basically just wanted to do a rundown of what my tattoos mean. I always get questions on my DMs, and I feel like I haven't really made a video about it till now. So uh, we're gonna do a little tattoo tour. So starting off with the first one, um, we got the angel, which actually was a cover up. A lot of people don't know that, but I used to have this tattoo right here. Uh, it said raised by wolves, which I got when I was like 16, which at the time it meant something to me, but it really doesn't mean anything to me anymore. Um, dude, this tattoo was its own story, bro, because I had to go to this part of Houston that is like really well known for being just not a really good part of Houston. And like you had fucking people selling like drugs and shit like outside of the gas station and just all kinds of crazy stuff. But don't mind that. So this tattoo I actually got last year and I'm not gonna lie, uh, on a scale of one to 10 on how bad it hurt, it was probably like a seven. But when it got really close to like the inside of my thigh, that, that shit became like an 11. Um, but I really like this piece and I don't know, I see, bro, I'm not gonna lie, like I've seen a lot of people get the same tattoo um, and they'll send me like pictures of it on Instagram, which I think is pretty cool. But yeah, no, this bitch got like abs. So this tattoo is supposed to be like a representation of my guardian angel who's like watching over me. Um, and I just find it really cool because I put it in a cool spot. I was planning on doing it like somewhere else, but I think the thigh just fits it perfectly. And now we have my second tattoo, which is no weapon formed against you shall prosper, which is Isaiah 54, 17, I believe. This is my favorite verse in the Bible because it basically means that God's protecting you throughout all times, bro. And when I was going through some crazy shit in my life, this really resided with me. And so did this number, which we're gonna talk about. This one honestly didn't hurt. Uh, this was uh, my first piece done by Paul, which is Paul Lee Art, which is my tattoo artist who does all my work. Um, shout out to the boy. This one didn't hurt on a scale of one to 10. I'll probably give it like a five if anything. And then we got this one, which was done very recently is the spider web and the spider. This tattoo actually has a lot of meaning to me. And um, the reason I got this tattoo was because my father had this thing called widow's disease which is like a heart disease in your heart when one of your arteries are clogged and the survival rate is like 3%. And like at the time I was living in Brazil, bro. So, you know, in a third world country, you don't really have the best like Medicare compared to, you know, the United States. So, you know, my family didn't think my father would have ended up living, but he actually ended up living. And um, so me and my brother ended up getting the spider tattoo, even though I hate spiders, they're my biggest fear. <laughs> which is like kind of pussy, whatever. Um, so I ended up getting this one. This one though did hurt like a bitch. This hurt a lot and this part hurt even more. Um, on a scale of one to 10, I would probably say this part like 12, this part like eight. But yeah, that's the meaning of this one. 555 is uh, really meaningful to me even till this day, I still see this number. Um, you know, the universe talks to us through numerology and you know, that's the universal language. So when I see 555, it basically means to stay positive and keep looking at the bright side, even through the darkest times. You know, even when you believe that the world's against you, try to look at the bright side and try to keep a positive mind like I've talked about previously. Um, I was going through some really rough shit at the time and it, it, was, it was terrible, bro, but um, you know, I kept seeing the number 555 and I just had to put my faith in God, which also resides with faith over fear. Um, you know, don't let your fear consume you, let it drive you. That's the meaning of that one. That one didn't really hurt except for like the shin part, which was like a one out of, out of like one out of 10 scales, like a seven, if anything. This one's one of my favorite pieces uh, done by Paul. I think he did such a really, he did a really good job on this one. It's very, um, it's very detailed. This one's supposed to be the meaning of the butterfly effect. Uh, the butterfly effect basically means one little action could have a really big reaction, but I don't look at it from a negative standpoint. I kind of look at it from a positive standpoint. You know, like you working right now towards your goal, you know, that one day that you're like, fuck, bro, I really don't want to do this. That one day that you just do it 
could ultimately change your life for the better. And you know, that's the meaning behind this one. This one did hurt. This one was like a nine out of 10. And then I just explained the faith over fear. Then we got the what is real will prosper, which is my favorite quote. And you know, I hope to have this on my tombstone when I'm dead. <laughs> I'm not trying to sound like grimy and shit, bro, but nah, what, what is real will prosper? I've explained it multiple times. You know, this is a quote that I live by. Um, and the meaning of it basically means, bro, if you're consistently genuine to yourself and you're real to yourself, what is real will prosper. You're taking all the fake shit out of your life if you're constantly being real. Uh, this piece, y'all can't really see it. I'm like showing my ass and shit. Um, that's just Jesus. And then we got this one, which dude, I honestly don't appreciate this one as, as much as I should. Uh, it's a super badass tattoo and I don't, like I sometimes forget that I have it right here. Um, this one is the snake and the sword, which basically means conquering your demons. This one didn't hurt as much. I'd say, dude, I am sweating my ass off. This garage is hot as shit. And I'm wearing the younger leg kangaroo pouch jacket, which is fluffy. Okay. Besides that, this one didn't hurt as much. It was like a seven out of 10, uh, super badass, So really detailed. Um, yeah, not sick. And then we got this one. Uh, so this one's the last tattoo I'm gonna talk about. Um, it is, uh, Scarface reference. It is the world and the world burning. And then there's the world is yours, uh, held up by me and my brother. And, um, this is kind of how, like, I saw the world in my own eyes, bro. Uh, I felt like it was just me against the world. And like, I don't know, I just had a bunch of shit happening to me around that time period. So I just kind of lashed out, rebelled and got this tattooed on me. You know, it's kind of hard talking about like, regretting tattoos, which I wouldn't say I regret this tattoo. I personally don't like how it looks. It definitely could look better, <laughs> but I don't regret getting the tattoo because John told me this, John Skywalker told me this. It meant so much to you around that time period that you literally got it tattooed on you. So he definitely is correct, um, but honestly doesn't have any more meaning to me, but it kind of grounds me, bro. Cause when I look at it, it just makes me appreciate everything that's, you know, happened to me till this day. Um, I've been very blessed and you know, I have you guys supporting me. So thank you for that. And now let's, uh, let's talk about the fun part. So the tattoos that I'm going to get next. Um, so I basically want to finish my whole leg. Um, I'm going to be doing a word sleeve, which I've never seen. I haven't seen anyone do this, but I'm going to be doing a word sleeve going down like, so it's going to go like this and then it's going to go down. Um, of words that just mean a lot to me. So I'm probably gonna get conquered next. I'm gonna get wing ridden angel next. And I also have to get my calf done and then my hamstring done as well. This one's gonna hurt like a bitch. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna get there though. But this concludes this video. Um, you know, this video might've not been the craziest one to the state, but I enjoy, actually, I really did enjoy filming this. Um, you know, it's kind of been a lot just editing this by myself and all that stuff. So thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, I'll see y'all next time. What is real will prosper, baby. I love y'all. Peace.